Altamirano, fresh legs on to take first crack at Logan Ketterer. Cristiano Altamirano. Ketterer guessed right, but in it goes. For Locomotive FC, it will be Nick Ross. The Scotsman back from injury. On the spot versus Sean Lewis, who has been on his head tonight. Lewis can't stop that one. Nick Ross slots it in. Emphatically delivered by Nick Ross. Both players electing to go to their left, the keeper's right. Boloto will take second crack. Stutter step and skies it up and over. Trying to chip him up top. But Maloto, 120 minutes in. Sometimes that makes a difference. It'll be another man who's played 120 tonight. Brian Rebellon to take this one for El Paso. Rebellon. In it goes. After two rounds, Locomotive leads 2-1. And Brian Rebellon elected to go right up the middle. Something that I wouldn't have the courage to do. <laughs> Ariel Martinez. He's been on for 120, 33 years old. The Cuban native against Logan Ketterer. Stops it. What a save from Logan Ketterer. Guessing the right way. Getting a strong enough of a wrist on the ball to push it up around the post. And it's the 35 year old Irishman, Richie Ryan. Ryan punches it in, top corner. A little extra for eighth notch. Locomotive, after three rounds, leads 3-1. And I've seen Richie Ryan take penalties many times. That doesn't surprise me. So clinical. Bradley, Bradley Bourgeois, Bourgeois will take this one. Needs to, needs to make this to keep Tulsa alive, to give them a chance. If he misses, it's over. Or if Ketterer saves, it's in. Bourgeois. 3-2 locomotive. But as Saeed Robinson comes to take this one, if he makes it, it's done. This is a man that hasn't played a lot. However, he's third on the team in goal score, so he's comfortable inside the box. Can he deliver? And send Locomotive FC through to the next round. He can! Locomotive FC will host New Mexico United. Redemption for Logan Ketterer. Locomotive FC survives and advances.